Hey people, I am back today to answer a burning question about how to exactly precisely uh, place your supports when you're manually placing them. So I think this tip is, is going to help people a lot. Uh, and this question is, has, you know, was bugging me for a while and I wanted to make a video on it. The other burning question I have uh, that I still can't answer is, I'm not sure if it was Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, Hillary Clinton, or Carol Baskin that killed Jeffrey Epstein. But I can't answer that question today. So instead, I am going to answer the question about how to place your supports exactly where you want them. Stay tuned. It's only a three-minute video. And also, at the very end, I'm going to have an up-close picture of um, the amazing paint job by Craft World Studio. These artists are absolutely unbelievable. So make sure you watch the very end of the video just to see what superhuman people can do when they paint. All right. Thanks, everybody. So we're looking at Volpiana White Branch, a beautiful model from Ars and Guild, very dynamic pose, but there are a lot of small little islands to support on this model. And how to get your supports in exactly the right place. You might say, hey, I drag my support to the island and that's that, but that's not really how it works sometimes. And I have gotten a bunch of models from, uh, from Patreons where I got pre-supported models and the supports looked like they were close to an island they were trying to support, but they weren't right on it. Like here, there's two islands I want to support. One right under that tip of that belt piece coming out, and the other is the belt buckle. I can't get the support exactly where I want it to go. It just won't go to support the, the two islands there that I want to support. So let's deconstruct the model so we can see what I'm talking about. I want this support to go almost touching the model where that whole little piece is sticking out. I, I can't get it to go there. I can click all day. It won't go there. When I go to a certain point, it just drops down to the next area. Same thing with this. I want to support that island exactly, but I can't. It won't let me drag there. I'll have to drag down onto the bottom part, which I don't want to do. I just want to support that island, and I just can't do it. And like I said, from other Patreons, I've gotten pre-supported models where the supports don't actually hit the islands. They're just very close in the vicinity like this, and then I have to uh, redo it. So let me show you how to fix that and how when you're placing supports to avoid this. If you really want to be able to move a support wherever you want, the key here is contact depth. When the contact depth is too high, it won't let you support tiny little thin areas because the support is going too far through it. It just won't let you position it there. If you lower that contact depth down to 0.1, here I did 0.12, if you lower it down to 0.1 or even 0.005, you can now drag that support. Look, now I can place it exactly where I want it. If I want to move it down, boom, exactly where I want it. So when you're having trouble placing supports or you notice they're not exactly going where you want them to, it's a problem with your contact depth. So once you move it into position, by the way, once I see I want it right there, I can now drag it right there. Once I have it there, I can then go back and increase the contact depth and if, if you want to for any reason, and it will not change the positioning of that support. Now that support is now in supporting where we want it to. So that's the trick for today, and hopefully this helps you uh, support more precisely and get better prints. Stay tuned. Uh, about 10 seconds from now, I'm going to have another close-up of the incredible artwork done by Craft World on this model itself by Marco. Great painter, phenomenal mustache, and his wife, Alexandra, is maybe the top miniature painter in the entire world. So definitely go check them out as well. Hope you learned something. Please like, please subscribe, and happy 3D printing. Thanks, everyone.